Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So last video we made was a Poco video. We talked about Poco double tank and how the heal meta is really good right now, but tank meta is also kind of good. But we did find a really good comp that, you know, kind of recently came out. Someone found it before. Shout out to the homie Fade. Um, but, you know, it was a pretty bad comp when it came out. But as the meta kind of shifted, as certain brawlers became better and certain brawlers became worse, this bra or this comp actually is it's actually pretty good. You know, it's not that bad. So what we're going to be doing is showing you guys this comp one time on every single map that's out today. So we're going to show you guys the diversity of the comp. We're going to show you guys how easy it is to win with it as it's a really great mix of heals and, you know, just just general HP so let's hop into the games and let's get things starting all right so here we go into the first game we're gonna be going up against Tara tick and bow so as you guys can tell you know they don't have that much damage obviously they do have a Tara and a bow which are two pretty good tank counters but I just don't think they have enough damage to be able to just you know simply take us out this guy's gonna go on the flank already so he's looking pretty good and again you guys know from my last poco video we're just here to help out our teammates we're not really doing too much they're all in the corner here, so we can get some really good value. We're just going to heal up our teammates, and, you know, they can't really do anything about it. Going to be able to get that kill, and there we go. There's the team wipe to start us off. Oh, I didn't know that was there. I guess they're going to be able to get that. There's probably one down here. So there's probably one behind us. They do have Tara Super that we have to be very alert of. This guy's just going to be chilling on that right now. Again, I'm just going to be using gadgets and trying to give it to my teammates. I'm not trying to use any gadgets alone. I'm probably going to get pulled here, but I don't want to walk into the mine. Okay, I'm going to go down, but it should be fine because we do have a lot of HP. Now, Sky is going to go down, but it doesn't really matter because we do have that Pam, you know, kind of just roaming in the middle. And we should be able to come back fairly easily here, especially since the Tara does have the gems. So I'm just going to heal right there because I'm going to go down and we need Pam to kind of hold control. So as I said, you know, they're two pretty decent counters. So it's going to be a little bit tough to win this game, but this comp is good everywhere. So I don't think it matters too much. Going to be able to get a couple chip shots over there. Going to try and hit this Tara. We're going to be able to get the kill, I think. There we go. We're able to get the kill. And we're not going to use the heal because, you know, it's not really a great time. If Toast got hit by anything, we would have used it. But we could just save it because we know they're going to be able to get the gems. Um, Sky is going to be hit by that because, of course, you know, why not get hit by it while you're BMing? And we're just going to be healing Sky over and over as he's trying to take out their team. Toast is going to run into a mine, but nothing's going to happen. We're going to heal Sky. He's going to come back, and, you know, there's just nothing that they can do about it. They basically outplayed us the entirety of the game. They got most of the kills. They were doing basically everything, and I kept going down. But this comp is just so meaty. You know, there's so much HP. There's so much to deal with. It's so hard to win. So let's hop onto Brawl Ball. Don't even know what map it is, but I'm sure this comp is going to go fine. So let's hop into it, and let's show you guys what's up. All right, so here we go into the next game. Now, again, we're facing pretty good counters. We're facing a Shelly and a Bow. Obviously, Shelly would be a good counter. Um, and Primo, who's pretty decent against all other tanks, so we're just going to share our gadget right here, and that's going to give our team a lot of additional HP. We're going to be able to get a team wipe really easily there. We're just going to pass the ball up to Toast. Toast should pass it to Sky, but instead he's going to super shot it for whatever reason that Toast feels like super shotting it, and we're going to be able to take a really quick lead. Now, again, I'm going to share my heals with a teammate over there, going to try and get some hits. Sky's going to go down. I'm a little bit late over there with the heal, so we're not going to be able to get that off, but... We should be perfectly fine over here. The Shelly is hiding here with Super. We're not able to hit it, which is kind of unfortunate. Toast is going to get super right in the face, so that's not too great, but we're going to be able to get that kill. Obviously, we're going to heal Sky over here, so he's going to be able to go in and get really aggressive. Going to be able to get that kill on the Primo while healing Sky. And hopefully, we can bait something. I don't know. Going to heal Sky over there so he lives. Going to try passing it to the Shelly. Nothing's going to happen, so I'm just going to heal my teammates over here. Don't really know what Sky is doing. Perhaps a little bit of BM over there, but, you know, who knows at this point. Sky's going to try and dash. Nothing's going to come from it. We're just going to, you know, take them out slowly but surely. And, like, there's literally nothing that they can do. They're just running at us. Um, you know, Pam's going to get tossed above. I'm going to steal the ball and put it at the net. But we just killed them over and over and over. There was literally nothing that these guys can do. So we're going to hop into one more Brawl Ball game since that one was pretty fast. We're going to hop into it and we're going to see if we can beat another team. Again, we're at really high MM, so these teams should be pretty good. So let's hop into it and let's see what happens. All right, so here we go into the next game. Now, again, they have Bo and Shelly. So we seem to be getting double countered every game, which is a good thing. So we can really show you guys, you know, how strong this comp actually is. Since we're literally getting countered every single game, yet we're finding a way to win. And again, you guys see, we go into a fight against two counters and literally our entire team is full HP. You know, outside of Sky, who's being a little bit of a tank right now, but it's so hard to take out every member of this comp. There's always someone who's just going to be standing up there who's going to be perfectly fine. 
Okay, that Shelly was going for a crazy play. Not going to be able to get it. Toast is BMing. Sky is BMing. We're going to put that ball in the net. And again, a really fast 30 second game. But we're just running through these teams with double counters. So we're going to move on to the next mode. Hopefully it proves more difficult because this comp is just god in Brawl Ball. But anyways, let's hop over into the next game and let's keep going. All right, so here we go into the next game. And we're going to be playing Fade, Sands, and Patchy. Now this one's going to be kind of interesting. Because I don't think this comp is going to work here to be honest. Because the comp is really good because of Synergy. But we don't really have that synergy on this map since everything is, you know, kind of just split into lanes. We're going to be able to take down Patchy over there. And we should be able to get first bot unless it spawns on left. We got good RNG. It spawned in the middle. And we're going to be able to get this bot, which is really good for us, obviously. This guy's going to go up. He's going to be a little bit aggressive. We're just going to heal the homie. We don't want him to go down. He's going to be able to get a bolt. And hopefully we can get some pretty fire defense here. Or offense, not defense. What am I saying? Um, but they do have really good defense, so I doubt that's going to happen. Let's see what happens over here. We're just going to push up really deep in. Patchy's going to push us back, which I kind of, you know, appreciate. Thank you for pushing us back out of the out of the siege. It's very kind of you. Uh, but we're just going to be chilling over here. Fade's going to be popping off. He's just going to be chilling as a Pam. Sky's going to be able to get every bolt on the left, which is really good. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything on this side, if I'm being honest, but... Because they are doubling and I'm just a poco. But we'll see what we can do. Sands is kind of sweating it out. We're getting some good RNG with some bot with some bolts spawning on the left. So hopefully we can get enough to the point where in the next bot we can be perfectly fine. We still have two gadgets which is pretty interesting. Okay we're getting some bad RNG now. This isn't looking too good. Very unfortunate. We're going to rush the mid here. We're going to go down but that's totally fine. Hopefully we can defend and get something to happen here. Hopefully we can get a kill. Um, we're going to just heal our teammate over there. It's not looking too good if I'm going to be 100% honest. This guy's going to go up and try and make a play. I'm trying to just heal him. Please. Oh, we were so close. No. That's so unfortunate. Uh, I don't know what we're going to be able to do here. I'm just going to go to the side over here. Toast is going to grab middle. I'm just going to shoot from the side. Hopefully, I can help out a little bit. I'm going to be able to get one heal off over there. That's pretty good. We're able to get a bolt, hopefully. Come on, guys. Go get that bolt. This guy's not going to be able to get it. He definitely has to go get that bolt, though, and just rush back. He's going to be able to do it. Oh, I think we're just going to tie, though. That's so unfortunate. Two, one. And if we had one more second, we would have won this game. But unfortunately, we're not able to do it. So GG's to these guys. I mean, on this map, you know, you can tell why it doesn't work. You know, there's no synergy that we can have, unfortunately. We can't help each other out. Um, you know, it's just individual lanes. If we got a little bit more RNG, though we would have had it uh but anyways it's gonna be it ggs to patchy and literally the creator of the comp fade which is pretty funny that we're facing in the video but you guys know we never take out the losses we have to keep them in so let's move over to hot zone where the comp should be really good and let's see what happens all right so here we go into our final game we're gonna be playing hot zone now obviously you know hot zone is just this comp is gonna be fire um we're gonna be able to win this super easily um, and as you guys know, you know, the reason we lost last game is because this like you you have to synergize with this comp You can't just win based off of just running around You know, you have to actually have some form of synergy You have to play with your teammates and that's how you win with this comp And that's exactly what you can't do on that other map You can't just win with synergy because there is no synergy on that map But fortunately for us, um, there is synergy here. You can make plays here. Come on toast. Come back over here, bro we're gonna get that heal off for toast and we're just gonna go back and chill in this zone we can work as a team here so this is gonna be really easy um i don't think this is gonna be a challenge at all i wasn't really paying attention probably gonna go down here we are but sky should be able to handle that we're gonna be able to get both zones really easily and again hot zone is super easy with this comp you know as you guys can tell from just this video as a whole you know it's pretty easy to decide you know where this comp can be played and where not if you can't work together if it's those siege maps that's literally divided by lanes just don't play this comp but if it's an open map if it's something like backyard bowl basically any brawl ball map most gem maps even heist this works really well i would highly recommend using it it's really good but anyways it's going to be it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed this is a very good comp and the only team we lost to we lost because of a tie because we couldn't win that last spot and this comp isn't even good on that map so it kind of shows the power of this comp that we're facing very good players we lost by one bolt and you know we didn't even play that well nothing went our way but anyways it's going to be it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys did you guys already know like subscribe comment and do all that that's going to be it for today, and I will catch you guys shortly. I will see you guys then. Peace.